Right guys, so this is the only real way to ensure that your fob roll band is done properly. So the plan here is to cut a trench across the yard here and then to go in under the house through this grill here where they're going to mount a box outside. What I'm going to do from here is run a bit of conduit under the house and the other end of the fibre is going to come up through the wall behind this cabinet. So at first when the fibre dude came into the house he saw I had my modem set up here and he started walking over to this area to uh, say oh yeah we'll throw the fibre on the wall there. I was like hang on a minute make sure you tell these guys exactly what you want or they'll do the easiest job for themselves. Um, I'm making this job a hell of an easy job for the fibre dude because I want it done right Unfortunately, I've heard far too many stories of them cutting corners and doing shit jobs. So the best way to do, get it done right is to do it yourself. So I'll show you guys how to set it up yourself. So first thing here, stick the trench, 300mm deep, and they're going to run a red conduit through it for the fibre. Hey bud, get out of the way. Right now guys, this is part two of fibre install video. Now I've got this cabinet here. With this is fibre is going to go on the wall, just down here. And power will all be in behind it where it's inaccessible anyway. So the fibre guys have been in in the meantime. So in the conduit up, they're going to mount a box there by that grill. I'm going to knock out just this part here. I don't want to destabilize the grill or anything. And I'll take a wee chunk out of the side here to run my conduit out. And basically I've filled the top of this trench in. Not the nicest outcome but she'll grow back. Rightio. Both this cabinet out of the cupboard now. Sweet. Cabinet's out of the bloody cupboard. Get in here and we'll uh, cut a hole in the wall. Marked and measured 300 high. Make sure there's not a stud here, I'm going to cut a hole in the wall and then I'm going to drill up from under the house probably and put a bit of conduit in the wall here and that'll be the draw wire for the fibre. So that's pretty good, I've already got a reference for where I need to drill up under the house. So I'll just go along about 100mm and I'll see the bottom plate of this wall. I'm going to put the tape measure right where the cable comes up and measure across to where my hole is. So the stud is right on about 1500 Poke the old screwdriver in here. We good. Let's now cut it out a bit. Sweet as. That's what I'm going to do. Is not just that small bit there out. Okay, so that's what she looks like now. I'll be putting a bit of conduit through there. Yeah, just be careful. Don't break too many of these out because as soon as you start doing that um, this whole thing can fall away so under the house I'm going to run some conduit and this is what the fibre line is going to run in while I'm under there I'm going to pull that draw cable through it so tomorrow when the guys come to hook it up they can just pull their fibre line through off the draw cable what I have here is that's a flexi to straight coupling I may not need that uh, by the way, this is all 25mm conduit, gives the easiest flow under the house. Um, these are the only bends I've got on me, so these are 90 degree bends. Uh, usually you want to use sweet bends, so they're a bit larger than these, but because it's 25mm, they're going to be sufficient. So this t piece of 20mm here is going to be what's coming out that grill that I just drilled, and I've got a wee 20mm to 25 adapter here to throw into one of these so I can just reduce it down um, now that's a straight join 25 to 25 um, as I say I probably won't need all of this stuff but we'll see this glue here this is for welding PVC uh, what it does is it melts the PVC together so once you use it um, on a piece of plastic you can't undo what you've just done without cutting it out. 
piece of 20 mil here, flex. I'm gonna stick that through the hole there. As you can see, I fucking crumbled that. Cause I bloody wasn't watching what I'm doing. What I want to do here, I'm just gonna use 25 mil flex now. Seeing as that thing's completely crumbled, we'll go from there. I'm gonna fill this hole in. Uh, probably put a bit of cement over it. That in. Now we're gonna run the draw cable straight through that. Get under the house and go sort it out. Also need some screws, saddles, and impact driver when you're down there. This here is my wee underfloor kitty. Just carry all the stuff, keep it all together so I don't fill up my pockets and things when I'm down there. Right, because we're getting dark now, I only want to take limited things down with me. Take tape measure, take the drill, drill these holes, and then I'll put these parts back up here and grab this bit. Always make sure you wear a mask when you're under the house. So there's what we can see under the house. This cable here, right here. I can see it goes right under, and this is the one we want to follow to that light switch. This is the one that goes up through the floor into that cupboard. I started putting this waterproof barrier down under my house. Um, it is a huge bloody job, it's a tedious task and taping up around the, I've only done the first pile there, over there so I suggest that it makes it easy to slide around under here without getting too dirty so this is the underside of that part of the cupboard unfortunately I can't see any bottom plates here I'm going to drill up on a slight angle that way and hopefully we get it in the right place so wait, so I've measured 1400 off there and that's right where my finger is so unfortunately where that's come up is just below the lining and the carpet just sits above that. So what I'm going to have to do from above is I'm going to cut a wee chase out here, drill it from the top. I don't want to take any anything out of this beam here. Elbow here, have a bit of straight going up, obviously we'll do the bit of straight later. Straight all the way to the edge of the house here, tuck down under and across, and all the way to the grill over there to the outlet. Right, so what I've done off camera is I've laid these conduits out roughly where I want them. What I'm going to do now is put a bit of draw wire in, probably about 10 metres or so. I'm going to run the end of it through the conduit here. So make sure you can see it flying out the other end and then we'll stick these two ends together and put a bit of glue on this. All you need is a tiny tiny bit, I don't want to drip this crap everywhere so I'll wipe all of the excess off, just splodge it, that'll bloody do. Screw the top back on because I don't want this shit spilling out everywhere. Chuck these two ends together. That, twist it round a bit, get the glue all through it. Make sure she's still sticking out that vent. Now you want the least amount of this. Full fibre lines, you shouldn't be using flex. Or if you are, like me, use as little as possible. It's just something else the fibre can get snagged on as they're pulling it through. Next thing we'll do is saddle it up. So I'll throw a saddle on it. I'll run it along the bottom edge of this. Don't want to be on too much of an angle, so the saddle's going to sit here. I'm going to have to do it off camera, but I'll show you the end result. Right, so she's saddled up all the way down there. I hope you can see. I haven't saddled it all the way yet, because this here's the intersection that's going to jump up onto. Run along here, then run down to the hole just there. I'll get my conduit cutters out. this stuff out of my way. Fucking branches and shit under the house, what the fuck. What I want to do is measure up a bend that'll sit going 90 degrees up here and then I want to put a ring around it with the conduit cutters and just spin it around it so we have to pull it off the wall a wee bit when we do it. Line it up with this, that's going to be perfect there. 
drop it straight down onto this. Where I want to cut is right where my thumb, the edge of my thumb is. What I'll do, and just sort of put a ring around it. Just remembering that our draw wire is inside of it. So we don't want to cut it, but then again, it doesn't matter if we nick it, because it's only a draw cable. Pull this rubbishy bit off of the draw wire. Flush with here. Thread a corner bit, thread a elbow on. Like that. Again, smash a drop of glue on it. If this was outside, I'd be putting glue right around the thing if it was being buried or something. You don't want water getting in, but here it's fine because no water's getting in under the house anyway. Not so it shouldn't be. Now I'll fire a saddle on here to hold that up straight. Right, that's got a saddle in it. I didn't put it all the way in. Now with this next bit, I've already put it in the place where I want it. So what I want to do is get an elbow on there and I want a wee straight piece in between. So I'm going to have to cut a wee one and a half inch piece, slide it in there and then slide the elbow on as well. So same again, thread on the wee one and a half inch piece and the elbow. Make sure the one and a half inch piece goes on first. So now it looks like this. I'm not putting glue on this one in case this corner's too tight here and I have to get under and remove it. I've put that wee piece in there and slotted it right in there. So just be aware you don't really in an ideal scenario you wouldn't have two bends right next to each other but it's really the only bend under here. Next thing I'm going to cut this one because it's a really long piece I'm going to cut it pretty much to length to as long as I want it. I only want it about a metre and a half from here. So I'll go down the line and cut it and then we'll thread the cable through it. Sweet, so I've cut the length back to roughly below that hole. I'm going to go to the other side and do what I said. Next thing, I'll glue this one, saddle it up all the way along to that hole and then we'll go from there. So again before we put the last saddle in, line it up roughly there we'll cut our conduit out to that edge so where my finger's at just there sweet so again pull the excess off throw it whack the corner on now I'm not going to saddle it up yet until I've got this part in sweet so that there is the end result good idea to chuck some foam or some fire barrier in here which I'm going to do uh, I'm going to finish doing my stuff under the house here. Rightio. So what we got here is the top of the conduit. What I'm going to do is cut a weed patch out of the wall here, bend it in, bring it out this. The outside here is cut, leave a couple of metres, and we're going to pull it in from inside and just make sure that it's easy to pull. Make sure you put a knot in the end, so you're not going to pull it through the conduit. Right, so we'll give it a bit of a test to see how easy it is to pull. Yep, that's bloody easy. Yeah, guys, so the fibre's been pulled through, and what I'm doing here, so because we've come up through the floor there, and gone through the wall, I've just put a mounting block, I'm going to put a blank plate on it to protect the fibre. Okay, smash that on there. So end result is like that. And here's the fibre box in the cupboard. Guys did a bloody good job. So that's the end result. Just filled it for a bit of this filler.